Okay, I'm taking a step back from working on my little algorithm visualization tool and I'm going to show you a fun little feature that comes built into Squeak or at least the Faro version of Squeak. It used to work in Squeak itself and now it doesn't but I'm sure someone will repair it. Anyway, the easiest way to use it is to obtain a copy of Faro or Peer or Seaside You've seen me do that before. And type this into the Monticello or the Meticello browser. And I've already done it, but what you would do is basically do a plus repository and paste in this code. Click OK and then open and find the code, select it, and load it, which we've already done. So it goes a little bit slower. But anyway, once you've done that, you have this fun thing called an RFB server. RFB is the older name for VNC, Virtual Network Computer. Many people know this is mirroring. So we can actually go ahead and start a VNC server. We're going to put it at display 0. And now we're going to go over here to another image which already happens to have that particular bit of code installed. And we're going to connect to localhost 0 since it's running on, both of them are running on my system. And when you do that, it will ask for a password of which I have none set. So notice that this image over here now images, now mirrors the contents of this image over here which you've no doubt seen if you've used tech support or a VNC server. But what it means is that specifically for Squeak, the contents of the window are being mirrored, which means you could share code with two or more people so you could do pair programming very easily, set up a Skype account or some other audio communications system and just start coding. And you could say, oh, what about this? What if we looked at this particular little um, bit of code? Say, the server code. Move this out of the way. And we could go down and say, oh, there's a bit blip routine. Let's move this out of the way even more. Yeah. And we could see how it works and explain to each other what we think should be done to modify the code or, or use it for some other purpose. So you have very nice pair programming capabilities. And of course, if you have graphical programs of some kind or any other program of some kind that's running within Squeak, then you have this capability. The nice thing about this is that you could actually be using this even on a system that doesn't have a video card because what Squeak is doing is it's actually drawing all of its graphical code off screen and sending it using the uh, VNC protocol to the other system. So you could be running Squeak headless on one system and control it on another system, which has some interesting possibilities.